Doug and Duet a major tournament with 500 plus entrants. Mm -hmm. The emotions <laughs> were flying, everyone was cheering it. Yeah, the first major of the year, honestly, actually. The first major of the year. Stop the battle. So we'll see how the champion of SoCal Carnival, well, I mean, not the champion, the second place winner of SoCal Carnival, can go ahead and get here the locals master himself, Shulk, aka Nico. AKA the Joker. <laughs> the Joker, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Joker main already, dude. Hey, remember when, like, Joker was now Tremendo, dude, made a tweet? He was like, we hardly knew ye. <laughs> we hardly knew ye, Shulk main. <laughs> like, they knew Nico was gonna drop out, like, Shulk, but... Man, Shulk? Real Nico's, time, Nico's not gonna drop Shulk. Nah, he's not, dude. To me, to me, I... I feel that Shulk is top three in this game. Personally. Uh, at worst, top ten. Definitely top three in my opinion. Top, top three, top five. We'll see what Nico can do here against Eon. Different Fox of a different strain. Of course, Eon, a childhood, child prodigy. And he hasn't even graduated high school yet. He actually just had a birthday a couple days ago, so make sure to send the happy birthdays in the chat. Well, yeah, I mean, just, <laughs> just turned 18. I remember meeting Eon when he was like 16. Two oh. years ago, man. Incredible how much this kid has grown in such a short time. Literally the future of Smash is the ass the young Wait, did he kill him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. There we go. He on the prodigy, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. Future Smash lies in good hands. He on here at a young age, but let's see what he can do against some of the old gods. Not really the old gods, but you know, one of the gods here. Definitely, definitely better than himself, Nico. Nico's a household name now. Yeah, he is, dude. He, he clocked in nine to five of a school every day of the week, man. Bro, he's earned his retirement, but he's not done. Yeah, he, you're real talking here that retirement <laughs> champion. You know, he's not going to cash it out just yet, man. He wants more victories. He knows now that Shulk is at a higher tier placing. He can definitely put in more work, especially off um, off of different regions and majors as well. We'll see him go at G6. Yeah, G6 is going to be an exciting one. Oh, definitely. I'm hoping to see Nico at least top 16 on that one, especially alongside Eon and Key, hopefully. We'll see what things can do on a local scene. So switching to Smash Art. Nice parry coming in, but I can actually get a punish. Up B. Oh, so close. I wanted to know that Eon is also angling the shield that we kind of see that Nico gets him out at the clip at the ledge. Still down two stocks. High percents on Nico's name. I like that. A little bit of a wait. Calm before the storm and comes back on the stage. Especially with that position uh, Eon was in. Down Smash wasn't really going to raise him. And F Smash you can honestly react to. So he's sitting there. He's like, I have anything to worry about. I have to wait for you to kind of start going and then I can move. So, Nico's gonna gonna hope to bring this back. He does have a he's at one touch percentage. He's falling up there, not gonna actually kill him though. But oh, that one will. Yeah, that one will. Look at one touch percent, man. He got touched one time, but Eon but Eon made sure the second time they meet. I'm gonna take that one. Good spacing from Eon, kinda sensing Nico's coming in. Wait, Eon's playing. He's so patient. Very reaction based too, as well. He's reacting to when Nico comes in with his advantage here with a forward and a big swinging sword. Stack versus the champ. Not, not the champ combo. Stack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, that was close, man. I thought it was. I thought that was gonna be it, but Nico's gonna live right there. Gonna go to Smash. He needs the stock right now, but I'm Smash the shield. I don't think he expect that to happen. And only got a jab one. He needs to do a lot to honor. He's got a lot of homework to turn in, man. Definitely Eon with one. Putting an end. All the extra credit homework. He's got to write a hell of a paper right now. <laughs> that 12 a.m. paper before the, <laughs> before the rich harvest, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you, got class like a, you got class at 8 in the morning out there writing a 12-page essay like at uh, 4 in the morning. Fueled on Mountain Dew. You're just putting out words. You're like, all right, this sounds like it'll make sense. <laughs> the fancy dog. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that's going to be us, man. The real talk is going to be us in a few weeks. Right, next day you look at it, you're like, what is this garbage I wrote? How did, <laughs> how did I pass this guys? You know what? Sometimes it's the plot armor. And speaking of plot armor, let's see if Nibu can activate it again. Yeah, of course, the real plot armor there is disappearing, unfortunately. Every time we see Eon going to shield, I like that he angles it. Oh, that's a big baller read. I'm only going to get dash tag. Nibu not going to try to go in start with a Nair or anything. Oh, wow, Eon. Yeah, just running back and forth. He's got him on the uh, on the ropes right there. Really good game. It's difficult for me to tell if Neon was went for the up smash earlier there because I feel like he might have been reading the tech roll in because Nico didn't want to be at the ledge. Of course, we saw how like Charlie likes putting out back airs. Eon likes putting out back airs. So I felt that Eon tried to read the tech roll in with that up smash. Not really sure if that was the case. If, he, if that was, man, Eon on a whole new level. 
whole nother level. Wah. Well, another left arm. And, you know, still rocking the strawberry fox. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. Sorry, this color color is Oh, gets the jab lock. But Nico, we're gonna shield on after that. I'm not letting you get a Twitter combo today. Yeah. Probably another Sleek House Smash League highlight too as well. Yeah, zero percent to Eon, man. Untouched. Already bring out Nico to high percent. Oh man, Eon is on fire. Nico finally able to get a couple of aerials there. Uh, he's kind of fishing with these. Uh, oh, that. That forward. Every time you can get the forward, man, he takes an extra mile, dude. Yeah, he really just wants to push him as far into the blast zone. I like it. Went for the empty hop, both for the grab, and Eon was so keen to see it. Up there, almost gonna kill at the at the bottom of the stage. This is where uh, this is where Nico's gonna start getting really scary. He's got him in the smash art. It's not be at the last second gonna take it, making great use of that art. Yeah, hold on for a second. <laughs> Alright, I was like, I wanted to update the spoiler for you guys, sorry about that. Yeah, it was a really good catch, I actually didn't notice that either. Like we said, like you said earlier, man, you gotta give credit where it's due. And speaking of credit, he, he, Nico got a lot of damage, he made so much, this is a reversal, dude. So much damage off of that Buster. He got a zero to death in five hits. Buster is the clutch model, I'm not gonna lie. It is the clutch model, alright. Yeah, Buster's a someone's taking 70% and you know what I'm willing to bet <laughs> yeah, on who it is. I think the buzz put out a really good. Yeah, tweet. that was the buzz's tweet. <laughs> yeah. That was so good. <laughs> Either you take 70% or I take 70%. One of us takes 70%. Bro, Eon actually just got the fair footstool. Yeah. I'm disgusted. I I, I thought it was gone, dude. Not really. Bro, right. Honestly, things that are gone, like the players will find a way to make it work. Yeah. Zero Suit Louder's gone. No, no, I'm making it happen still. I mean, I'm finding another way, man. There's well there's a way. Right. Yeah, that was exactly what Eon needed. Yeah, the will to win definitely in Eon's heart, but also for Nico as well. Wanting another local, of course. It's pretty big for losers players, because moving on to Genesis 6 in a couple weeks. This is big with that back, and we'll take it. We'll take it in game one. Now moving on to game three. Mm -hmm. Leaving it up at 1-1 one, one, uh, piece. Well, this is a good we'll result. see the decider game. Yeah, this, uh, this week in tournaments, and then... The next like MSM slash hat will be really stacked. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be stacked. It's gonna be like people are gonna be worn up for Genesis. They're gonna pull out the A game. No that's more messing my, around. That's my favorite part too because MSM and hat get stacked here because we have a lot of players traveling here first for the locals. Then they go to NorCal. Yeah, that's when it gets good. That's when it gets good. Competition fierce. Honestly, that's that's what a lot of people are like. You know, I don't want to go to I don't want to go to the 2 GT major. I, I, I want to go to the MSM afterwards. I I honestly think at G6 we're gonna get like. Mark my words, at least 150,000 plus viewers. All right, you know what? I'll take that action. Yeah. Uh, I could honestly see that happening. There's so much hype going into G6. Oh, definitely. People dude. coming from around the world. The, the first major and the first mark of the PGR, dude. I wanna, I want, I want to see the melee players. I want to see left, and I want to see what Armadas have. Yeah, I, I want to see what some of the melees come up as well. Quizrobe, of course. Quizrobe, oh, little players, dude. Fair kill the 70, by the way. Uh, but anyway, Pichu, Pichu, Pichu Mad Light, though. Pichu Mad Light. That's the thing about Pichu, right? Yeah, I Pichu feel like that's why guy. Eon didn't want to go Pichu uh, the first game. He was really scared of that exact thing happening. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what Nico, Nico, what Shulk can bring to the table against these characters that have like this combo, this percent. He can go into shield and it doesn't work till later. Yeah. Actually, between between like uh, between the conversation me and Nico had yesterday. Over at a Korean barbecue post MSM, like he told me, he doesn't think Shulk has a lot of bad matchups. He can't really see anything where Shulk fails, you know. Yeah, and actually, SD got who was talking to me about me uh, too. He was like, honestly, I only see Shulk maybe losing three matchups. He's yeah, like, at the most. He's like, Diddy-ish, Inkling is even, and then he's like, oh, I feel like Snake is kind of hard, but other than that, I. Well, if I'm so Excuse under. me. He's like, other than that, Shulk doesn't really lose any matchups. Yeah. Nico kind of also in that same statement there. We'll see how things go after this Michu. We did see Nico fight uh, Void in Soka Chronicles against Michu. Didn't play out well for him, of course. This is a different Michu. Eon's Michu. Yeah. Second of Soka Chronicles. Nico get a victory here, man. We definitely a, a statement here that Downer not going to kill. Oh, what a clutch. Oh, my God. Taxi platform. He said, pick me up. <laughs> man, call the hotline. Like, oh, man, I need to ride back to stage. Please, Smack Town and City. That was... 
Honestly, also the town platforms, it's a lot easier to know when it's going to come back. Yeah. Because it's not moving up and down. There's not a lot of things to get rid of. You can kind of have an, all right, it's going to come back right about now. And there was always been those visual indicators, like, in the back of the stage. <laughs> like, when the when the stop signs come up, you know when it's coming back, and you can just time it a lot better. So, you know, that's, if you got that big brain play in you. Yeah, I see the stop sign moves away, right? Stage is going to change. That's just, it's so it's just a pleasing thing to, to see. Uh, not Good facing from Eon, dude. Knowing that the fact that, hey, man, I gotta be careful for that backslash. Will catch me. I don't wanna get hit. I don't wanna shield it. Surprised didn't try to maybe throw out a T jolt to see what would happen if it would beat it out if he could time it just right. But yeah. you know what? No use in trying to throw yourself out there. Just gonna let him come back for free. He wants to slash at me. Go ahead. Yeah. Eagle doing the retreating back airs, but he's giving a lot of the stage to Eon. Finally getting him at the ledge. Eon looking at the stage himself, and Eagle lands with that neutral air. Now he's in speed. He has access to whatever part of the stage he wants to at a second's notice. Smash. Also loses jump hype. That allows neutral air and forward air to connect a lot differently. And both players looking at last dog, last hit. Oh, they get the thunder, and Nico Wu jumps. He gets the time here. So close. He's definitely looking for game three. Game three. So just like fighting for that shield art, man. That's gonna be such a good thing for for Nico. Like I was saying, just once you get into that oh, last, kill. that yeah. last dock, last hit. Shield. I'm not gonna die for a while. You're still Pichu at 80. I can cap you in dead. And if you're in hit stun, you can activate it too. That's so it's ridiculous. Even I don't Nico, know. even Nico agrees. Like, man, man, activating shield, shield hard and hit stun is, is a whole other thing, dude. And I mean, yeah, you have to kind of like react to it, but Nico's the person who does that. He'll get hit and he'll immediately be like, alright, how do I get out? So right now both players uh, think about who they want to go. Ooh, jump study beat uh, Estwood, good job. I mean, spoiler alert, guys. <laughs> alright, well, let's go on to the next game here. Yeah, game four, potentially Nico's last game. Oh no, you... He, he did the thing. He did back air, read him with the thunder. Stock's already gone. It's been 15 seconds. Lincoln, you miss it. You're going to see that in the highlights. Oh, for sure. But Eon off to a great start. He, he's trying to make it look like he's ready to ready to go to Brands. But, you know, Nico's not going to give up yet. He's already got him at 70. That's kill percent. Yeah. Now, the fact that Backslash snaps the ledge is just so good once you're up there. Backslash reaches so far, so you can't really challenge it. You just have to let him back unless you can... Unless there's something you have planned. Yeah, you have to actually space yourself away from it and then get the punishment back when he comes back on stage. You have to actually respect the bad side. That's the, that's the thing about it, dude. The, the, the old school meme pick, now it's a... Uh, now you gotta respect it. But yeah. runoff down are gonna kill. No matter yeah. what, when he hit that, that way, Pichu's gonna die. Yeah, backslash was kind of meme. Like, if you got hit by that, that move was a meme. Back out of shield, have him at 100%. Oh wow, man! Even Stalls has recovered with that regular jump. Nico now jump R, right, and he puts him off the stage with just a couple of air four airs. Nico tries to go for a back air, and you're rising up B. Couldn't take either of those either. Yeah. And now he's got him at 60. That could. That could be. Yeah, this could be for the back air. Not gonna kill. Him in the shield art. Trying to two frame with the F tilt. I really good job to a uh, to Nico not getting hit by it. Oh my God, Nico on another level with that hit stun, dude. He's able to activate. Shield hard and he takes the trade, man. He's like, hold it, up. It ate through the T jolt. Yeah, not, dude. That's not stopping me. Oh, I'm running up the like that. Up angled forward tilt. Yeah. So much range. Why? Why not? Just a little bit of the toe, man. Just a little bit of the toe. Frame 5 toe. <laughs> man died to frame 5 toe. Like, what do you think about it? It's a whole other thing. It's just the floppy leg. And it's, you know what? You're going to die. Yeah. Last dock, especially even with Eon really fast uh, first dock. Oh, dog. this is big for Eon, 60% with those four airs. Kind of doing to Nico when Nico does to Eon, man. Three four airs, kind of off the stage, good percent. Just, just drops it a little too late. Goes oh, to that the was scary, that was scary. Of course, the F-Tilt I don't think has too many active frames. It's really fast, but it only lasts a couple frames. So yeah. he, Pichu doesn't really lack like that long-lasting... Uh, Hitbox will just throw him out and and hit him away for a while. His long-lasting hitboxes usually send you up and towards him so you can start a combo. All right, Nico, pretty much a clutch percent. Hopefully, he can actually get something. The like forward tilt's coming out. Oh my God, Eon yeah, with the run back trying to get in. Nico putting out the twinkle toes. He's got to think. Yeah, same. Yeah, Nico's ready to kill. Oh, that was so close. 
Oh, oh no, I respect. That was, that I was res such a good setup. I respect the up air too because we saw that you was know, going for air option. I'm even going for forward air, like we saw that, and unfortunately that last second you know, decided to stay planted to the ground, went for that four tilt. Yeah, Nico Nico had the guesses, he was just a little far off, and that's the problem with Pichu, is just he's so small, you have to be really precise. And then that setup with the T jolt into the F tilt, that was mm. that was brilliant. Elon gonna move it on to, to Grands. Three yeah. one. Pretty uh pretty uh pretty close games for mm -hmm. Okay.